Okay, so let's talk about Florida. How flippin' exciting. It was one of the funnest trips of my life. I haven't been on a plane in like oh, really? a decade. So well, it was my first like getaway from Canada. How satisfying was that? It was fun. It was really yeah. fun. So it all started when Tina and Navin came to us. We had already designed their home in Brampton. They're so like, sweet. So they're sweet. Wonderful. Oh my God, they're so fun. And we designed their house about five, six years ago. She's actually our first YouTube video, which is pretty <laughs> funny. And um, so what happened was they came in and they wanted us to do their house in Florida. It just so happened that I was going to Florida soon because I'm looking to buy a property in Florida. So typically we don't do out of the GTA, but I was there anyway. And they're such good people so I thought we went to Florida we installed everything well, let's talk about the process so that our viewers at home can figure out how this all went down first of all if you're a Canadian and thinking of buying a home in Florida and want to furnish it it is much cheaper to buy Canadian there's about a 40 percent exchange right now you don't pay taxes when you go to Florida if you as long as you don't take possession even with delivery charges and installation charges it's still a much less expensive option to buy here so this living room great room uh, dining area and the kitchen with counter stools and a dining table there too is treated as one big major area because you walk in and it's there and the beauty about Florida is most of their new builds have wall-to-wall -wall, uh, windows that sliding doors just open right up so it just is very it's just very beautiful and cohesive and the whole thing kind of marries together which is great infrastructure for us to start so I always start with the great room because that's where people sit and watch TV and that's where they congregate so we did this beautiful custom-made sofa in the cozy fabric yes um, is it the that we did? it's a play. I love play. it's easy to clean it's a hundred thousand double rub count super great and a green undertone that's right that went that that's stucco really undertone rug. yeah so the rug goes and like look at those two big ass bad boy coffee tables like 48 by 48 one would not have been enough absolutely not done this two study. together yeah. it gives you a rectangular vibe yeah. with um the top is a uh, italian made ceramic so it's indestructible so we don't have to worry about coasters and stuff talk about the sides too yeah, yeah and the, the metal like well, it was a metal yeah so we brought bronze into this project even though they wanted silver canopy chandeliers then we went with that washed big ass credenza that was i don't know like nine feet long or maybe yeah. 10 feet long with the two of us put together yeah it's so big <laughs> swivel chair just for extra there was a window there in the corner that didn't have access to outside so right. it's just nice for somebody who wants to hang out a little side table to go with it and then another little end table here you know that end oh, table that yeah so with travertine cool. top and bronze again yeah and then the pillows you know like three different fabrics and we took one of those fabrics and we put them on the walls and if you guys notice the way that we install window treatments in Florida is way different than here because there's such big long banks of uh, sliding doors we do little sections two foot sections of panels that are not functional uh, they don't need functional okay let's go to the kitchen so we have four counter stools we did that in the dark gray because we're trying to pick up now on our rug right there were some dark grays in there right. and then our dining table in the kitchen was a live edge top so it was like a wood but a, an in-between wood so we picked yeah. up some of the dark mm -hmm. and then the same chair so really now the dining room we did a lightwood tabletop with stainless steel legs and then stainless steel dining chairs that we made and then we did a two big huge pieces of art on the back wall in the dining room and then that crazy mirror that's my favorite part 15 pieces in this mirror that Daniel took six hours to install <laughs> and then we just put candle holders on that table for accessories on the coffee table we did some dark accessories to you know pick up the dark in there the bronzy bronze lamps on either side of the TV and then mixed up some steel and glass accessories for the kitchen and then can we talk about your cookies? Oh, yeah. So my inspiration for that was Khloe Kardashian. Let's go to the light fixtures. They all coordinate in the family room and the two pendant, the three pendant lights in the kitchen and the one over the dining table are all from the same series, right? But then in the dining room, same color, but completely different chandelier. It was those ones that went this way. Remember that? Oh, I remember yeah, being up on the ladder. Yeah, with the little truck. Yeah. Right. yeah. So that went out beautiful. Ready? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was a six-hour wow. episode. Wow. Or I did some others. Okay. Oh, wow. oh my great room. Oh, my God. It is so great. Oh, 
Our design program works like this, guys. We send a qualified designer out to her home to measure one room at a time. We do all the elevations and the floor plan so that we have perfect, accurate measurements. A week later, you come back to the showroom, we walk the showroom, we test all the furniture, we see what you love, and then and see what your aesthetics are. And that's why we give you the what do you love questionnaire. It's a design personality test. It just sort of takes you through a whole bunch of furniture and room layouts. Maybe you love everything on that page. Maybe you like nothing. But this is a good way for us to understand who you are and for you to understand what you really love, like, want to be surrounded with. It's not the be all and the end all. Clearly when you get back to the showroom, you may change your mind. You may see something on Instagram that's gonna motivate you and inspire you. And that's cool, but this complete personality test usually does the trick for me in 98%, I know who you are. And that's what I want, I wanna make you happy.